Okay, guys, we're back. Let's unpause and continue. And we gotta kill these two guys! Woohoo! These uh, swords aren't very hard to dodge from those green guys, but uh, they aren't easy either, so be careful. And here's another Zelda element we got right here. These uh, spike slider thingies, they seem very reminiscent of something. <laughs> Um, okay, if you didn't, if you don't realize here, yeah, these knights can come alive! And let's go through the store, just because I can. And there we go, in case you didn't know us, there was a crack in this wall right here that I blew up with a thingy. And yeah! <laughs> Sw oops! Uh, switch the candle, grab the board, leave the candle behind, you do not need the candle coming up. And oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, stand here, stand here. And get ready to kill the cannon! You remember how to kill the cannon? Pick up a bomb, throw it at the cannon. Doesn't this game remind you of Zelda a lot? Yes, that's because it is probably a Zelda clone, and I didn't realize that at the time. But how could it be a Zelda clone when this game is on the SNES? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it's still pretty fun. But, uh, um... Oh, I need a board to go there, don't I? Um... Wh where did I miss a board? Uh-oh. I'm going to have to go back, aren't I? I? I know that I'm supposed to pick up a board from somewhere. Avoid the balls. <laughs> Where's the... Um, maybe I'm not missing a board. Maybe I have to... No, no I, I'm almost positive I'm missing a board. No, wait, I, I have a board in my inventory. What am I thinking? Oh my god, what, why am I so stupid? <laughs> I, I'm literally holding one in my inventory and I did not see it. How is that possible? <laughs> Okay, let's kill Mr. Green Guy here and avoid his swords of death. And this one's much more dangerous than the other one in that little cove, but he's still pretty dangerous. Okay, now we're happy. Giant balls of death. This is more Zelda shenanigans we've got right here. Switch to the key, use the Y button to open the door, and get ready to kill some guys to get to that key at the bottom there. Man, I can't. <laughs> this was so stupid right there. That was one of the most, the dumbest things I ever did there. That was a bigger blooper than the power going out. <laughs> and let's hit the, grab the key there and go through the door. Let's read this. Switch plates. Push the switches in the correct combination. Yeah, you have to figure out in the next room, whoops, to uh, open the door which combination of switches it is. And, oh, not, not this one here. O. P. E and close. Okay, we are moving along. <laughs> and okay, here's where we have to hit the ones in the correct order. I forgot which way they are hit. We shall see. Is it that one? That one? That one? And that one? Yes, it is. Upper right, bottom left, upper left, bottom right. That was awesome. First try, guess. I was wondering if that was going to take me a while. If you incorrectly guess during that portion, you will, um... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, red guy can throw uh, pots. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> red guy can throw things at you. That's a new element. Whoa, and, and catch them. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, and I'm going to open this. I'm going to grab this gun because I'm going to use this gun in the next room. Yes, I am. Okay, this game is coming back to me. This game I am starting to remember. I'm going to use both the gun and the key in this room before I go back and grab another gun and key. Um, whoops. I should probably grab that key and, yeah. That would be very helpful. Keys are a helpful thing in games, you know? I could never see a key, a key killing you except in that Home Alone game that the angry video game nerd played. That was pretty funny. <laughs> And let's go through here, and here's a key, I'm happy there's a key, a key is friendly, because it opens doors, but a key can't be friendly because it's metal. <laughs> and let's go up the stairs, wait, let's take a look at these stairs for a second. You are like two times the size of these stairs here, <laughs> but whatever, I'm not gonna question it. Kill, kill, okay. And let's go through here, do we need a candle? I don't think, yeah, we do need a candle later on, but we don't need one. Well, I might grab one just for your sake in the next room, because you might not be able to see things properly with the camera. And since I already used the grappling hook, I have an open space in my uh, inventory. So, uh, yeah, let's go through here. We got some candlelight going, let's see if the camera can focus here. The exit to this room is the top of the room that goes, oh, that was nice. There we go. 
And here's another cannon killing room. This is gonna go fast. Cannons are nothing to be feared, despite how they look in ancient history. <laughs> You can just kill them with your bare hands, as you can see. Just pick up their bullets and throw them right back at them. And that is it. Let's go through the door and we are good. Okay, he's gonna kick that. Yes, he is. Okay, do your beach ball thing. By the way, these guys are invincible and they're in beach ball mode. Uh, come on, do your beach ball thingy. Yeah, so when he when they come out of beach ball mode, then you throw something at them. Come on, can you do beach ball? Thank you. Do beach ball here. Thank you. Do one right here for fun. And grab the gold key. Now in the next room, run like hell. Because you do not want to get squished. Switch to the gold key, go through the door, and that's it. Let's go to the boss called Red Skeleton and Blue Skeleton. Nakedness in this castle made of stones. I will crush you with my bones. I will fill your heart with dread. I will smash you with my head. All right, now we gotta use our bone, hit their bones to kill them. I recommend killing blue guy first because his bones bounce off the walls and are a lot more predict, uh, a lot more unpredictable than red guy's bones, and they fly a lot further too. So blue guy first, then red guy. And you can use any kind of bones to hit either kind of skeleton, so don't worry about color coordination. And after they take a certain amount of hits, they will begin to throw their heads at you. That is the phase where it is difficult. Uh, I, th I thought I heard the camera beep for some reason. And we're waiting, and yes, the head homes in after you, so run away until the head runs away itself. Kill. Oh, that takes care of one skeleton. Yes, it does help if you take care of one skeleton at a time. And unlike uh, most things that you throw, these uh, bones have no set distance. So you can pretty much throw them from all the way across the room to hit the skeletons. So as you can see, this won't be a very long fight. Could you jump over to this side? That would be very nice nice of you Mr. Skeleton uh, and I'm gonna have to dodge his head aren't I okay we are waiting and we're waiting and okay <laughs> come on can you throw some bones for me thank you I'd like to hit your head now come on throw your head there we go good skeleton throw your head again yeah there you go good boy and you're gonna throw some bones again aren't you okay and more skeleton shenanigans is that it uh, yep that's it Woo that takes care of level three. Woo! Stage clear. Here's your password. Ruby, cherry, sapphire, sapphire, ruby. That took us eight minutes, 36 seconds for this level. As you can see, this walkthrough is gonna go fast. Ha! They totally, th and they think we're royalty, PJ. I kinda like being a pirate king. Shh, dad, they'll hear. Servants, more food! Being stuck in a well sure makes you hungry, ha! Yeah, in case you don't realize, Pete is the one that they rescued out of the whale by mistake instead of uh, the actual guy that they wanted to rescue. Alright, let's go into here and... Uh-oh.